you will love this video because in this video i will be showing you step by step how to create a virtual business card for free and honestly it doesn't even matter if you're doing a notary business as long as you have a business in general this video will be very helpful. You might be thinking, why would you want to create a virtual business card? Well, first of all, we're in the year 2021 and it's going to be 2022. Things are moving fast. Technology is better and bigger than ever before. So why not have a virtual business card? You're going to be up to date. So imagine you see somebody and the person asks for your information and all you have to do is just show them a picture of your business card on your phone and then all they have to do is take a picture of it and then boom, all your information just transfers to that person's phone. Easy as that, especially with this whole um, pandemic that was happening. You don't have to touch the person, the person don't have to touch you, no physical contact needed. It's not a physical card, so the person can take your card into it in the garbage. Somebody is most likely to throw away a business card, but if they have the picture on their phone, a lot of times they're just gonna leave it on their phone, they're not gonna delete it you're gonna really be unique and stand out from all of the other notaries that are out there. Yep, so let's get in the computer right now so I can show you how to create your business card for free. Let's get into it in five, four, three, two, one. Let go. First thing first, we're going to use a website called canva.com. So once you're in canva.com, just go to the search bar and I want you to search for business card. Just click on business card. And you're going to see all of these options. See all of these are templates. So let's go ahead and click on the first one where it says create a blank business card. We're going to start one from scratch. And this is your canvas on the left side is all the options that you have to choose from all of this are different templates that we can use so the ones that have the crown like the golden crown you see where it says pro those ones you have to pay for and it's not expensive it's very small but if you're using the free version just don't choose these make sure to choose the ones that don't have the crown on the bottom so i'm gonna go ahead and pick this to edit it, all you have to do is click on it and change this. So let me just change this to the name of my business. I'm going to put add my name here. Add my number there. If I wanted to change the background, the black background, just click on the black background and go to the top and click on the background color and then I could change the color if I wanted to. If I could, uh, I could make it red, I could change it to green, light green, orange, blue. Let me just leave it to black. I'm not gonna edit everything. If I wanted to, I could have made it more creative. So now let me just create another side because a lot of times it's better to have two sides because you can't add all your information in one side. All you have to do is click on add page. From the add page, you could choose another template. If I wanted to, I could pick this one. Actually, this one looks cooler actually. I should have picked that one instead of the first one. But oh well, let me pick this one instead. Go to edit the second one, just click on it. Let me add my name here. This I could put remote online notary. Then I can add my email here. I 
I'm just gonna leave the number like that. If I wanted to, I could add a logo here. As you can see, I'm just adding random things to it. I'm not really taking my time, but because I, I just want to show you guys how to do it. You could take your time and just add everything that you want. You could add all your services, add your name, your logo, your email, and everything you want. But if you want to add a text to this, all you have to do is go to the left side and click on text. And click on the text, you will be able to write it. And once you write it, you could always move it anywhere. And if you want to, you can also shrink it. You could make it smaller like that. You can make it bigger. To zoom in, just go down. And you can zoom in or zoom out. So let me click on that and delete it. And also, like I stated earlier, you could change the background color. Just click on it and go to the top and then you can change the color. You can go to the lower left corner and undo everything. You could pretty much edit everything on the card. You could really go in depth. If you want to, you can add effects to it. Check this out. You see how this is a glow. This is really big. Just click on it. Once this changed to an arrow, you could shrink it. All right, if I wanted to, I could add a glare on the card. And I could change the color of this by clicking on it and going to the top. You can do anything you want. All right, so let me take this out. Let's go for the finale. Go to the top right corner where you see those three dots. Click on those three dots and go ahead and choose website. So once you click on website, make sure presentation is selected. All right, you're going to see a bunch of options, scrolling, classic navigation, standard, make sure to select presentation. So once presentation is selected, click on open website and voila there you go once somebody take a picture of your business card it's gonna take them to that website once they click on the arrow then they're going to see the other side of your business card and if they click on the arrow again they're going to see the other side of your business card oh one thing i forgot to mention let me go back so if you want to add your website right if you have a website all you have to do so let me just add my website here www.com select the website go in the top click on that icon and just add the link to your website and voila that's it once i do that now the website becomes clickable if we go back to it let me refresh the page watch this now this becomes clickable now i'm going to click on my website voila we're not done so now the next step is to copy this copy the url right once you copy the url go back to canva and i want you to go to the left side where it says more click on more click on qr code all right go ahead and right click it and paste the url once you paste the url go ahead and click on generate code there you go right there this is it right here this is the qr code then you could move this you could put this anywhere i could put it here All right i could make it smaller i could make it bigger so when the person take a picture of this symbol right there it's gonna take them to your business card um so you're pretty much done all you have to do is download it 
go to the three dots once again click on the three dots and click on download and this time you can go ahead and select PNG and click on download it's going to download to your computer Thank you all for continuously supporting my videos and watching my videos make sure to like this subscribe if you haven't subscribed all right you need to subscribe i see you there you're watching the video and you're not subscribing <laughs> especially if you're going to implement this in your business make sure to subscribe i have more videos coming up my name is edgy you know what time it is i'm out <laughs>